everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of the Battle for Astrakhazy. So I'm just kind of winging a mission here today. Um, I didn't really have anything planned. I've been working a lot on this, the, the, uh, the next series, the Battle Report series. Doing a lot of work on Discord and uh, um, putting together the, uh, the rules and stuff for that. So I just thought I'd play a quick match here and get it posted for you guys just so you can uh, have something to watch. So this is a straight up two skull battle against a clan unit. It's uh, There's supposed to be a clan heavy mech here uh, that we're supposed to go and check out. So I didn't bring everybody, I just brought four people with us. I got Gatekeeper in his Vulture, who we'll just move up to here. And then we got Panic, who's one of the new pilots. Um, she's really still uh, gaining skill. Um, and she's probably the Nova C, which we haven't run this one mech in quite a while. Um, it's the uh, Ultra 5 ATM version. I'm there. And then we haven't run the Stormcrow D in a while either, so I put Chinstrap in this one. Bring her up. Moving out. And then Hotwire's in his Mad Dog, so we'll just move him up as well. Just wanted to make sure we had a couple Army of heavy... Move heavy uh, firepower mechs just in case. And then I brought the demolisher here. I'm not going to use it unless it's absolutely necessary. But it is just a backup vehicle. You know, we'll just bring it up the rear. If we need it, we got it. We haven't used it in a while, so... Standing by. Uh, did we spot somebody briefly? Because I don't see how we could have. Let's get up this way. We'll go. I didn't check around to see where the enemies are. Yeah, we do have reinforcements though. Where are they? You got eyes on them, but I don't. Oh wait, over here. Huntsman. Alright, shouldn't be too bad, I don't think. It's two skulls, it's the clans, so I'm expecting medium mechs. See how it is. If we don't need to engage with the Vulture, I might not either. I'm hoping the Heavy Mech is actually a Heavy Mech and not just like some kind of medium. Commander. But it's always iffy on these and the low skulls if it's going to be a half decent mech or not. I've even found like even three skulls, sometimes you get a heavy vehicle. Nope. Crossbow. Okay, well. Waiting on you, Commander. Could have been better. Going turbo. Solitaire. Okay. So they should have at least six mechs. Ah, uh, not. Commander. Roger that. We don't need you. Just stay here. Don't need you. Okay, another bandit. So, um, I'm going to chat briefly about this next uh, battle report series. For those who were going to get involved in stuff, the cutoff was on Friday, and there were 12 people that were um, signed up by Friday. And not everybody has been posting on the Discord. Um, I think there's been like seven or eight people that have been kind of posting a couple of people have not been posting that much the, all the information's there I was hoping to have everything in by Wednesday uh, so we could get started on it um, which will probably get started regardless if everybody has reported back or not um, for those people who haven't reported in on where they want their drop sites to be or even had a look at the, the map and the rules and stuff probably what we'll do is I will include your lance in the drop and you know, we'll just, I'll leave it up to the people who are dropping where the people who haven't reported in will go. Uh, and then if you pick up and continue and start and start playing, great. If you don't, then we'll probably just lose you off the map. I hear you. Um, and, you know, once you see how the, the series is going and the, the play style is going, if you want to um, join yeah, up for the next that. campaign at that point, that's fine. And for those that aren't in the first campaign, don't worry. Like, this is just the beginning just to get all the rules down, like I said. Um, and multiple videos. It's just to get the uh, the rules down so that we can uh, uh, be free and clear when we're ready to play a, a bigger campaign. So other people can join later on once we get the big campaign going. Is that somebody jumping? 
Guess so. Standing by. Let's get into here. Gotcha. All right. Try and kill this bandit real quick if we can. There's another vehicle back there. Yes, Commander. That'll keep my heat down. That'll keep your heat down. Ooh. That's the huntsman. Coo. This is gonna be a turkey shoot. So you know what we need to do at this point? We need to let the two rookies handle it. So the Vulture and the Mad Dog are going to back up at this point. I was really hoping for more. Two Skulls? This doesn't seem like it's that difficult. Oh, he's giving himself to us. Barely hit, Commander. Alright, let's see what you guys can do. What can I do for you? We will interfere if need be, but, uh... Waiting it's all up to you two. Okay, don't know what's on that bandit. Let's get to here. Rolling. Drop our instability. Wow. Okay. Uh... Go with HE. Whoops. Commander. Okay, you can, you can... Yeah, you can get all the way up here, too. On my way. Double time. We're going to have to get a lot of volume of fire going, I think, if we're going to kill anything here. That's <laughs> still terrible. All right, not too bad. We got a little bit on there. Man. The difference in piloting. Difference in piloting. Or the skills, that is. Not the necessarily the piloting, but difference in skills. That was what, 16? So what, the, is the bandit's turn? Yeah. Yeah, you run. He's like, nah, -uh, I'm out of here. Just back up over here. Ooh. Maybe I should get involved. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Is that, I guess that's an ultra. Just in case. Just in case. Alright, how f this guy's fast. He's probably gonna back up. Either he'll back up and shoot from over here, or he'll kind of try and go this way. He's trying to spot for the crossbow. Reporting minimal damage. Yeah, it won't be minimal damage for long. Yeah, it's going to add up shortly. You're going to need to get in that crossbow. Going to need to get in that crossbow. Yeah, so for the series, if you guys are playing, or if you're one of the players that's been listed, um, get into the, dis the, dis the uh, Discord, get into the discussion forum. Oh, you bastard. Oh, that's it. It's on. See? Okay, you guys can kill everybody but this guy. I'm going to kill this guy. That's just pissing me off now. Yes, Commander. You got to get that crossbow. So let's get over there and get the crossbow. Affirmative. I 
I hear you. Uh, you can just reserve for now. Yeah, so get onto the Discord. Um, there's a few by. things on the Discord. There is the scenario rules and setup. Um, then there's a uh, armor bad. discussion forum for each of the um, drop or zones. So not. once you've figured out what everybody's doing and what you want to do, uh, go ahead and add your uh, positioning in the uh, for individual forum for the drop zones. Um, Waiting on you, just commander. so we know where everybody's dropping, then the battle's going to start. There's a few concepts I want to introduce in the next set of battles. Um, let's get so that if we miss, we're not splashing our own guys, please. Like I want to, I want to add ECM. I want to add a whole bunch of stuff. Fuck you. Whoops. Fucking shoot me in the head. What can I do for you? Hot wires like, dude, did you have to go that bad? <laughs> did you have to go go all out on him like that? It's like, yes, yes I did. He's lucky that's all I did. Commander. Gonna go stand on his corpse next turn. Look at that, see that? That was pretty funky. Wait, is that actually... It is actually playing something. Bluff Corporation? What's up with the fractals? Grim Max. Build a dazzling new future. With fractals, apparently. All right, um, what are we doing? Oh yeah, you're done. I just think that's cool, this little <laughs> this slides have got animation stuff on them. All right, we're gonna get a shot this guy next turn. And for those people that aren't involved in this first scenario, if you guys wanna go over and head over to the Discord and check it out too, that's great. Waiting um, on you, Commander. If you go to the discussion uh, page on my um, Good for now. YouTube Pulling channel, you'll see there's a, a link there for the Discord page. I'm here. There's an invite for people. Uh, you can just follow the link and it'll take you over to the Discord. Confirmed. Uh, if for whatever reason the invite is invalid or whatever, just uh, put a mention in the video here. Uh, that you'd like to get onto the Discord, and I'll go get a, do a new invite and make sure everyone gets invited. This guy's got two LRM-20s. Copy that. Yes, Man, he mind. ate most of that. Um, can I get... I can't get... Let's go here, though. Affirmative. We'll drop some HE on this guy. I don't think it matters. 26. He's going to shoot most of them down anyway, so what if anything hits, let's get a better. Or not. Okay. Yeah, so there's like a fair bit of act. I'm actually surprised. There's a fair bit of activity on the Discord, which is great. Like, there's a lot of people um, filling stuff in, a lot of plans and stuff. A lot of people seem to, well, the people that are there seem to be excited about it. So. And I've had a lot of great ideas, so I've made a few revisions based on them. I'm just going to stand on this guy's cor corpse real quick. I don't care if, I, if my mech catches on fire. This is my victory dance. I'm going to do a little uh, teabagging on this guy's corpse. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of people on, there, on the Discord that have had a lot of great ideas. So, um, and it was nice to see, too, that when I was doing the... Um, like when I was laying out the first scenario, it took me a little while to, to figure out what I was going to do with it. But I didn't, when I, when I, in the actual, um, the sit rep, uh, part of the Discord, it, it's read only, you can go check out what the situation is and, and the start of the campaign and stuff. But, um, it was nice to see that the, all the, um, the concepts that I didn't mention in, in the sit rep and the, uh, rules, um, 
a lot of people picked up on them anyway. I didn't want to spill everything right at the very beginning. I wanted to just give enough information that people could figure it out for themselves. And they did. I thought it was great. They, they, they got it. So, and there's a few things that were confusing, which is fully understandable because like in my head, it makes perfect sense. But um, I, I have one of those problems where I, I, I know other people have the same problem where it's like you're thinking of something and then you go to describe it to somebody. But because you already know the content, you have trouble making sure you fill in all the blanks for the person who doesn't know anything about it. Um, so that that's the problem I have, right? Is I I, I left like I, I missed a few things, so I was able to include those um, Confirmed. clarifications. Like I did a whole video on movement and stuff. Hopefully that was clear to people. Because um, I want to try and make it as like. Like the overland map is relatively realistic as possible. I mean, yeah, it's still going to be turn-based. We move, they move, we move, they move, right? But at least, you know, ooh, he's done. Ooh, that's nice. I hear you. Um, but at least make it so that's semi-realistic, and that's why later on I want to get into and get involved with doing stealth. Um, and a few other, there's a few other concepts that um, some people have brought up that I, I want to get involved with as well. Um. So we'll include a bunch of other stuff. Uh, I want to include like the idea, like right now, supply uh, is ba basically making sure you're within a certain number of hexes of one of the two units that will give you supply. So your your unit will be considered in supply. Um, but getting out of supply, um, um, and like let's say you take over a, a static emplacement, like you destroy the static emplacement. There's still the ability to rebuild that, so I want to create like supply counters or supply markers so that uh, your ally units can build a base kind of like in enemy territory. So you can use it for like def defend base missions or um, attack and defend missions. So we'll have a, like a kind of a skull rating for that too. Uh, do I want to just shoot this building? This is this a truck? No. Thought it was a pickup there for a second. Did you shoot the building and just collapse this on this guy's legs? How much has this guy got here for legs? 120? That's still a fair bit. Now let's just shoot him. We don't have a great chance to hit, but Firing a full we might miss enough with enough to take the building down too. Not quite enough. What can I do for you? Sounds smart. Cooling. All right, same thing. Up I'll here, go after him and the building. Oh, we got elementals back here, too. That was what the other one was. All right, um, switching to standard ammo and firing. Couldn't even just clip that building, huh? I should shoot it out from under him, but not gonna. But yeah, so like you know, you'd have an X, X amount of supply markers so that if you wanted to rebuild, um, a base to let's say like three skull defense like defend base mission you you would use x amount of your supply to bring it forward to rebuild the base um things like that so that you can create like defensive positions for the for up close because you know let's face it defend base missions are generally pretty easy um so building a few bases that you can defend um would be worthwhile on an over overland map, you know. I'm, some serious hits. I'm still trying to work out air like aerospace interdiction and things like that too. Fuck that thing's got to go. Commander, I'm hit. All right. Awaiting order. The vehicle's got to go. This is not going to be enough, but. We're going to hammer him anyway. This guy is hitting so frequently. Well, okay, there you go. One for the scrap heap. I hear you.
Yeah, so you know, like the next camp, like the next battle, the next campaign, going to, um, you know, uh, collaborate with some people um, on the channel and we'll decide kind of together yes, what we can do or what they would like to do. Let's get to here. So that's our left side, right? So we want to turn the right side more towards the enemy. I think we got to go this way. Drop a few ATMs on this guy. Oof, he's got a pretty big laser loadout. Commander. So yeah, and you know, depending on how many players we still have at that point, or how many new players that want to get involved once you see how the campaign is running, if you're interested, um, we can scale it so it can be either bigger, uh, smaller, longer, shorter. Resting my mech. Um, Reading you. That's that's the thing I think about the the rules that I'm kind of working on is that it's it'll be completely flexible to um, what people want to do, you know. So it's like there's like the uh, the whole point is just that the community can have fun together. That's all it's for, right? So we can all have fun and play the game together. Standing by. Let's get to here. Let's give it to him then. Oof, he still got uh, pretty good defense. Couldn't have done that earlier, huh? So what's this bandit going to go now? I think so. Wait, is this guy pushed back to 13? I thought he already went this turn. No, he didn't. Well, that's interesting. What is this bandit doing? Does he, like, have no weapons? Maybe he doesn't. Maybe his weapon's busted. That's a possibility. You know, I should do more missions like this where it's like... You know, I bring a few guys what I think will work, just kind of like the bare minimum. And then if it's like a lower skull mission, I just don't use some of them. You know? Keep our fingers crossed that it's going to be, like, more difficult. Um. Toadies! Commander? I don't know why that guy's not engaging. Move order confirmed. Like, this guy should be engaging, and he's not... Affirmative. Well, I was going to say maybe he's afraid of losing his side, but almost lost it there. What can I do for you? Sounds smart. Cooling. I'm going to bring panic up anyway. That mech's, that mech's been pretty ineffectual. Ooh. Oh, that's what you're doing. You sneaky bastard. Okay, I get that now. I'm taking Snack internal tech. damage. I uh, know, you've been taking internal damage for most of this match. It's those burritos you ate before you came out here. But yeah, you know, it's... Like, I've got a few ideas for for different campaigns moving forward, too. Like, different battle situations and stuff. That I think would be interesting. But I want to see what, like, what happens with this first campaign. What people want to do. Um, what they're enjoying, what they're not enjoying, what what's what what um, rules are working, which ones aren't. Because um, my my concern right now is the movement might not be working with the three movement points, so you can attack. I'm here. Like you got, you got your three movement points, right? Oh God, both torsos are damaged. Do I reveal forty-seven and forty? The right is down to 40, so we'll turn the left to him. Location um, confirmed. So you got three movement points, right? When you start your turn. And you can move, you can attack, and then move again, or move twice and attack, or or wait and then move and attack, or whatever. So And they'll go sequentially, right? So if one person attacks and one person waits, then they can attack the unit again the next turn, or 
move through where the unit you just destroyed the next turn and continue on or something like you know what I mean or you can choose to attack twice which means you attack on movement phase one or movement movement phase three um, Reporting critical but yeah I'm hoping the movement works out if not I've got a simplified way to do it but I'm think I'm hoping it works out and then once we get the reporting going um, you know the turn should go pretty quickly aye, aye. especially if everybody understands how the reporting works and what needs to be done and, and you know people are talking like hey I'm gonna do this and you do this you know it'll work really f it'll work well and it'll go quickly I think plus it gives the opportunity for like like you guys go through your movement like to get your three movement points that you spend and then the enemy counterattacks, right so it gives the opportunity for three battles every turn, yes, Commander. right? So if you attack twice, that's two battles. And then if the enemy decides uh, to attack you, then that's a third battle, right? So you can play up to three battles in a week, which is going to be better than what than the initial one I thought everyone would, would be doing. Target confirmed. I think the matches go a lot quicker too that way, so they're not dragging on. Unless we were playing a massive campaign, um, you know, if you want to do a massive campaign, then great. But then, like, at least the battles won't drag on forever. We'll have, like, you know, X number of weeks, like a couple of months of, of turns, and then the battle's over and we start over again on another battle, right? It'll keep things fresh and interesting. Took a hard hit there. Let's get this guy first. This toady can die easily. Stormcrow still got lots of armor. What can I do for you? Good for now. Cooling down a bit. Okay, so so if I charge this, so fifty-six percent chance to hit with a charge attack. I'm confused. Like, I'm really, really confused because every single time I get charged, they hit. Like, yes, every time they charge me, they hit. Which means their charge attack... I don't want to be that close. That's probably a little better. Simply because he can get behind me real easy. He can probably still do it from there, but... Um, but yeah, they, the charge attacks like are, are consistently high percentage of zombies. Even if I have high evasion, it doesn't matter. Like I could have four chevrons of evasion, they'll still hit me, not hit me, and knock me over. Yes, Commander. And you know, a lot of my pilots here too are like cool. piloting six, right? Got six, got seven, and it's still a knockover every single time. So I don't know. I'm missing something. I can have a guardian ECM on him. Doesn't matter. And it's very frequent too, like like on my offline battles, if I close with the enemy, there's often times I'll get two or three guys that'll charge me in a turn. It. You know? Reading it's you. really, really bad. Wait, I was saying I want to turn the right side, right? Order acknowledged. This guy's really the threat, so let's go after him. Um let's go with the ninety two percent chance. Nice. Now, where are you damaged? Front, mostly. Pew, pew, pew. Still can be dangerous. See, engine, engine crit, man. Damage critical. Yeah, I gotta get the hell out of there. Awaiting orders. Gonna get the hell out of there. Alright, that's the front. Confirmed. You know, I'm standing in rubble here. It makes me unstable, but that's fine. I'm already a little bit unstable. Firing a full Kill him, kill him. Nope. He's gonna wreck the Nova. Waiting on you, Gonna Commander. wreck the Nova. Resting my mech. That's what I do. I'd go after that Nova. Either that I'd try a back attack on this guy, but I'd Nova first and then go for the back attack the next turn. Frontal attack the Nova, pull up right in front of it. 
No, nope, he's not going to do it. Oh, I guess... I'm sorry. I guess maybe... Taking minimal damage. That's weird. I thought I'm being here. in a building like that um, just meant that uh, it made you unstable, but I guess it also gives you uh, a little bit of protection, too. Engaging Almost out of standard ammo. Alright, you guys just sit back here. Those toadies will be easy to take down once this freaking guy is dead, this bandit. Alright, CS, let's get over here. Oh, I see, you're turning your ass to me. You want me to close near those el elementals? Well, I'm not falling for it. Can't get a side shot from there, eh? That's not bad. We'll take that shot. We're gonna drop our instability too, just in case. We will take this side shot. Hopefully we hit the front. But side's already taking a lot of damage, so there we go. Not quite enough. Oh, yep, there we go. Beautiful. Supporting vehicle destroyed. It sucks that my main guy is out for a turn here. Can we not get a sh Oh, we can from here. I was going to say, can't we get a shot in these guys? Location confirmed. But there it is, right there. Okay, um... I'll just go with the standard for now. Use it up. Oh well. My long-range missiles are out. Yes, Commander. That'll keep my heat down. Aye, aye. Moving to position. See if I can get his back facing the, uh... Facing the Nova. You know, I, I think I... I maybe they lowered the, um... The effectiveness of elementals, but I always remember them being a lot tougher to kill. Cooling down a bit. But you know what? It, it could also be too that I was facing them earlier in the game too, where I had a lot less weapons and a lot less skill. Because they always seem to take forever to kill, but now it goes pretty quick. They are really a, just a just a nuisance on the battlefield. They're not really a threat. Unless you, I'm get, heavy hits, Commander. unless you get point blank on them, if they're right up against you, then yeah, you gotta worry about it. But if they're like at a distance like this, there's really the no, like they can't do much to you. Commander. Copy that. Let's cool off a little bit and hammer this guy from the side. Affirmative. Reporting critical hit. Okay, out where? Stay there. Jumping sideways. Barely hit. Like it's not even worth a light mech, you know? Alright, let's finish this up quicker. Um. Do this. I'm not going to cheat this, but I'm just going to make it a little quicker. We'll do this. Put some narc on them. Or not. Wow. Not one of them hit. Yes, Commander. I right, panic. You. Don't panic, panic. Ooh, here we go. Let's not hit our own guy, though. Oof, that's hot. Let's just turn those off for now. Wow. We're gonna be beaten by we're gonna be beaten by the hard gel armor. Ok, 
Okay. Waiting on you, Commander. Sounds smart. Cooling. Right there is fine. On the move. Far enough away that they can't actually jump and attack me. All right. Come on, finish these guys off. Copy that. Target's taking a critical They really hit. are just a nuisance. Come on. The Narcon. There we go. I'm here. Helps a little bit, I guess. Move order received. Now they all just dra jam figures. Target locked. All right, those hit. Here goes the leg. Just a matter oh. of time for this guy now. There we go. <laughs> All right, let's get out of here. Mission successful. All right, let's see what we get out of this. Yeah, that was uh, a pretty bad hit to the head there. Holy crap, 48 to the head? Ooh, sure. And she took a fair bit of damage too. All right, well... I guess it was to be expected. Now, crossbow. Crossbow Prime. Now, I thought we had picked up a crossbow before. So this should technically be an Omni. So let's just grab it and see what it is. There's not really a, a much else we really want. I mean, the LRM-20s are nice. But we might get it on the crossbow. Anyway, medium pulse lasers. Medium heavy laser clan. We've got one still. Ultra 10. Uh, well, that's what was That was what was on the queue. That actually might be a nice vehicle to get. So it had a streak for ER large laser, ER small, and an ultra 10 with 189 armor on the front. Whoa, that's kind of actually a really good vehicle. Like you can play the long game by just sitting back and shooting the ER lar large laser. You know, when things get a little better, close, use the ER large and the ultra 10. And then when you're ready to pounce, just push in and use everything. It's actually kind of a really nice looking vehicle. But I want to grab this because I'm interested to see what that looks like. We did have the crossbow before, but it wasn't really, um, like I would, there's other stuff here I want, but I want to see what the crossbow is like. And we got the sea build, so let's, let's see what we get out of this. All right, we got another bandit part. That's really good. That's the medium pulse laser version. Toady, uh, we can lose those. Oh yeah, okay, clan Artemis, that's nice. We don't need regular heat sinks. Clan sensors, we don't need. We got lots of these. Um, small heavy lasers, kind of nice. Let's hang on to that. And the Ultra 10, beautiful, so that's awesome. All right, let's have a look at the crossbow real quick. Uh, McBay. Do do do. We got some work to do here. Oh, I think this is just uh, yeah, that's just internal structure damage. This one took some damage components. Yeah, CT. We'll get that fixed in a second. But let's go to storage here. And oh yeah, so um, <laughs> past couple days I've been trying to play missions to post, and one of them we got a Victor part and a Zeus X part, but um. I thought I recorded it and I didn't. That was actually earlier today. And then I, I, then yesterday I tried to record one and I thought I was recording it and I wasn't. So, you know, got the, we got our meal near. Um, anyway, but let's just ready this guy. Interested to see what this looks like. So is this, is the crossbow, not knowing my mechs all that well, is this guy an inner sphere because it doesn't look like a clan mech. Is it an inner sphere Omni? Engine. Doesn't say. Oh, it's just a standard engine. So it is. It's, it's an honor. It's an Omni, but it's not. Oh, it's clan though. So I guess technically it's a clan Omni. Oh, it's built in Artemis. Oh no, it's not. Never mind. Take that back. 
Wow, the ammo was in the arms? Like what? Why is it a regular engine and not an XL? It doesn't leave you much room to work with. Like I can't even replace the structure on this. Like if I was to try and get this up and running, let's say, I can drop heavy ferro in. That'll give us a bit of extra weight. I can't even drop the endo steel in. Like, like none of this is changeable, right? Clan, we've already got a clan heat sink in here, but you know what I mean. Like, let's say we max out the armor. You're only looking at like 11 tons. We take this off, just for the sake of argument. Yeah, so 15 tons, let's say. Because if we lower the back armor, we can easily shave off 0.6 of a ton. So 15 tons of stuff. So two, yeah, two LRM-20s and some ammo. That's pretty much it, if you want to go that route. Or drop into the clan LRM-15s and then have an extra three tons for, like, maybe two lasers or something. Two lasers and a heat sink. It's a 325 core, so it's actually not that slow. Like, it's like a 5.8, it looks like. 5.7. It's not too bad. I mean, I guess it would be a good... Increase... Why would it be short-range... Increase short-range targeting? So you'd make... You'd have to turn this guy into a brawler then, like... You'd want to do it so you wouldn't have to add heat sinks. You know? So... I wonder if, like, the laser heatsink kit, this is minus 60 heat. Of the, maybe I'll, I don't know, maybe I'll keep this guy and try it with the laser heatsink kit and build, like, a laser version of something. Like, I, I can't even take that off. I'd lose four tons. You'd have to go, <laughs> you'd have to go with the, uh, you'd have to go with the heavy ferro. Now, I think, was it in this playthrough? Somewhere I picked up clan heavy ferro. The first time I've ever seen it, too. That was interesting, the clan heavy pharaoh. So yeah, I mean, you go that route, and then you make a laser vomit build out of this somehow. Maybe get, I don't know, we don't really have a mask or a supercharger to get it within range, like, so you'd have to go with at least medium firing lasers. Or, like, I don't know. to take advantage of the quirk that's short, like a, the short range quirk. I mean, we could put flamers on it too and like try to rush it in and do a burn vomit on somebody and maybe like a light PP or the uh, snub nose PPC as the one arm weapon. And then some, I don't know. That's only 10 heat. Like you'd want to go with like low burn or maybe even the medium X pulse instead of the PPC. You know, you want to go with low heat lasers that can give you the maximum amount of damage for half decent range. That's 420. It's not too bad. This guy could be a good street fighter. It would still have to close with its enemy to do well, but it could be. A, I mean, or we could go with like now um, the light PPCs. I'm telling you, I just don't. Even with the change in, in um, like the ability to change the fire modes. They were jamming far too often and doing, like, hitting far too less, like, little to really make them viable. How much was that heavy goss weigh? 20, right? 15 tons? Are you kidding me? Oh, that's got to go on something. Got to figure out where that's going to go. But, I mean, you could go with, like... Oh, okay, I can't use it in an arm. With an Omnipod. I'm just going to play with this real quick. Um before I end the episode here, so. so go that route, let's say. I mean, it's not ideal to lower that, but you could go with a medium X pulse, let's say. And then maybe you go, um, if we've got it, like SRMs. We don't have a lot of SRMs. I haven't been, to, I haven't been picking up and using SRMs. So these are one ton of pop. I've only got two of them though.
Yeah, I mean, it's the heat. It's just going to murder you. Approved ATM 12 is 7 tons. So that's out of the picture. But that's all we got left. The other thing is we just fill it with rockets. These are what? 0.5 tons? Like, we've got tons of slots. You could turn this guy into a rocket vomit machine. Heavy rocket launcher 20s. Put one on each arm. Let's say we pull out... You'd want to have good firepower after you were done. So that's 6 tons for 30 heat and 60 damage. Like, this is so much better. Like, it doesn't have the quite the range, but you're already going to be close anyway. So, like, maybe you do... Um, Yeah, what would you do, though? If I had another medium X-Pulse, that would be perfect. ER smalls are 400 meters. A pair of ER mediums. It's more heat, though. ER large is 45. This one is in the sphere is 36. Like the medium heavy laser, maybe? That's 300 meter range, right? Or oh, 360, that's actually not bad. Or just like... A pair of pulse lasers, even. And then... Fill up the rest with like, there's a heavy rocket launcher 10. You could add... Heavy rocket launcher 15 we've got, which we can't put there, but we can probably swap it out on the arm. Because you're going to want them on the arm for a better chance to hit, right? Once they've fired, no big deal, they're gone. So what? And then rocket 20s are what, 1.5? What are rocket 15s? One. So that's actually better than the 20s. Because for 33% increase in weight, you're only getting 25% increase in damage from that to the 20. And these are improved rockets, or incendiary rockets, right? Yeah. Tandem 10s are 0.5. Five. Like you could just load this thing down. Yeah, the lighter ones are the better option. Because two of these are the same as a Rocket 20. Rocket 20 is one and a half tons, and this would just be one ton. You know? So these are better than putting in a full 20. And then we have half a ton left for like a tandem or something. Or even, you know what? Um... Go down here. Is this one ton? I think it is, yeah. We got an ER small, right? Drop an ER small in. Something like that. Oh, we don't need this anymore. So we can put the small in the head. Less chance to lose the head than there is to lose a CT. Right, so you go, well, we could actually have a half ton left because of the uh, thing. So we could put another, we could put a second ER small in. Right, so when we're not, so that's 15, 30, 50, 58, 66 heat without the rockets, and then the rockets themselves are a lot, 27. Like, you wouldn't be able to fire them all unless you were going to shut down. Yeah, that's like 50, 54, 60, 75, and then... 85, 92, 107 for all the rockets. Yeah, I mean, you could go that route. It really turns this into a one-shot wonder. Well, a couple-shot wonder. Because this is like 
12 damage times 20 is 240 damage, right? So you unload a pair of these onto a heavy mech, right? It's basically, this would be a trade mech, right? You would trade it off against something really heavy. You know, burn through the side of like an 80 tonner or a 90 tonner or something like that. Leaving them as fodder for everybody else. And then just use it as a hit and run or a meat shield for everybody else. Because you're not going to have all that much uh, firepower. Although you'd probably want to get a Guardian ECM in here somehow. Just so it stays like less of a target. Which I don't have. Which means you lose the two small lasers or one of the rockets. Like you could drop the rocket 15 and put a clan guardian ECM in, you know? That might work. But I'm not going to mess with this guy. I'm just going to leave it like this for now. Um, I'm not going to put anything together. I'll probably figure something out later on. But I got a few other mechs I want to put together first. Just working on getting C bills because I got a, you know, a 2.25 million financial report every month. So I got to figure out what we're going to keep and what we're going to like store. Like this, um, the Dragon X here. So I probably want to try and get this running too. There's just, I got so many mechs. Maybe I just repair them and then just store them for now. Then I can bring them out. There's another medium X pulse in here. You know, then I can bring them out later on and we can put, we can mess around with them. You know, so maybe that's what I'll do. Let's just validate this, confirm it. And then we'll fix the other guy. And get that guy get done it. and stored. And then I'll work on... Like, I, I don't know. Let's repair this guy. Validate. Or not. Let's take all this stuff off first. I know I could just hit strip gear, but... But I'm not. Okay. Get those guys repairing. But I'm going to leave this episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. And please, if you're planning on fighting, if you're actually on the list for fighting in this first series, please head over to the Discord. And there's a few people, people that haven't yet to uh, record where your opening moves are going to be. Um, confer with everybody else, too, because there's uh, already some really good plans underway. And if the more you work with your teammates, the more successful this uh, first mission will be. Um, so I suggest just head over there and check that out. And if you can't, if you don't, for whatever reason, you can't get on or you don't have a link or whatever, um, if you go back to my discussion page on my YouTube channel, as I was saying in the video, um, you can go there and check for the link there, which is, which should be the invite link. And if there isn't, post in the uh, comment section here, and I'll repost an invite, and you guys can just uh, use that to get over there. Okay? Until later. <laughs> Until next time, I'll see you later.